there and welcome to this video explaining the absolute basics of Power BI. Now, we've been doing Tableau videos for years, we've never done a Power BI video, and what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna walk through everything that you would need to do to create the same basic dashboard that we created in our Tableau for Beginners video. So, <clears throat> again, a fresh installation of Power BI starting on the very first page that you get when you open it. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to connect to data. So we're using the same data source that we used in our other video. It's a text file. So we're gonna go ahead and select text CSV from the list here. And we're gonna open up the hotel booking data. Now it takes a few seconds for it to pull in once we get everything down. But first, I just wanna talk through this preview that we have right here. This preview allows you to do some transformations of the data um, in a little more flexible way than Tableau does. So you can uh, click on transform data and then it will pull up this Power Query editor that allows you to use Microsoft Power Query to manipulate your data. So you can see on the right hand side here, we can apply a list of steps, we can change column names, we can manipulate columns, we can create calculations and things like that all um, in our data. Now, we don't need to do any of that with this particular data, I'm quite happy with it. So I'm just gonna click this close and apply button up here in the top left. But that is an option if there are um, additional things that you would like to do uh, with your data before you pull it into Power BI. Now, um, we're gonna give it a couple of minutes just to load up, takes a little longer um, to load up the rows than it did when we pulled it into Tableau, but that's okay. Um, and now in Power BI on this screen, you're gonna build both the dashboard and the visualization. So unlike Tableau, which has two separate screens in Power BI, everything is done on the same screen. Um, fields are over here on the right hand side. They come out in alphabetical order. Um, anything that has this little sum icon by it, that's a number. Anything that is not, does not have this little sum by it, that is uh, typically a dimension, that's a text field or something like that. Um, we have all of our visualizations in this little box here. Um, and then we'll have options here and we'll be able to add filters as we go through the process. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to calculate our room night number. Um, and that means that we're gonna sum up this field stays in weeknights and this field stays in weekend nights. To do that, we're gonna click New Column. There are two ways to create calculated fields in Power BI. The first one is to create them as a new column in your data table. And the second way is to create a measure which allows you to aggregate it. So we're gonna call this column Room Nights. And we're gonna sum up Weekend, Stays, and Weeknight Stays. Here we go. And that will give us the number of room nights on a reservation. We'll see this field in our list of fields over here under room nights. You see that one is calculated. We can also then, we're gonna create a second column. This one's for revenue. So we're gonna go ahead and again, jump back into creating a new column here. This syntax is very similar to Excel. So if you're more familiar with Excel and moving to a first sort of visualization platform, Power BI can be a much more comfortable place to do that than Excel. In here, we're gonna put our ADR. We are gonna multiply the ADR by the room nights to get the total revenue for the reservation. Whoops. And we're gonna click enter and we should have our revenue and our room nights right down here at the bottom but <clears throat> we also want to create our calculated ADR field so what we're going to do is we're going to look um, see our ADR up here this is this is really the rate on the booking so this is calculated as the uh, the nightly rate that comes in for every row in the data set. So if we were to average that out, that wouldn't actually equal the hotel's ADR because the hotel ADR means that we're gonna sum up our revenue um, and we're gonna sum up our room nights and then we're gonna divide the sum of the revenue by the sum of the room nights in order to, uh, to get the correct ADR. 
To do that, we're gonna use a measure. So I clicked back into our visualization pane here. We haven't built anything yet. And I'm just gonna click on new measure. What new measure does, right? We created a new column in the data set. This is these two fields, our revenue and our room night fields. These are calculated for every individual row in the data set. When we want to sum up each column first and then divide the sum of the two columns, we're gonna use a measure. So I'm gonna jump in here. We're gonna call this ADR aggregated. Then we're gonna do the sum of our revenue divided by the sum of our room nights. Whoops. I'm gonna hit enter. And in here, you'll see that we have different icons for our aggregated ADR and for our calculated revenue and room nights. Our calculated revenue and room nights have the little sum by them and the aggregated ADR has this little calculator by it. So let's go ahead and drag out a couple of things just to check that our ADR calculation is working correctly. So we're gonna drag market segment out. And you see that builds us this basic table right here. Now, unlike Tableau, that doesn't snap to be the full size of the page, we get a slightly smaller page. So I'm just gonna move that one to the middle. Then we're gonna take ADR going to drag ADR onto there. Then we're going to take our aggregated ADR and we're going to move that onto there. Now, you can see that the aggregated ADR is showing something that looks like a nightly rate, whereas the ADR right here is being summed up. Now, we don't want that to be summed up. And in Tableau, we would just click on the pill and we would change the aggregation. In Power BI, we have to do it a little bit differently. We have to click on the field over here. And then if we look up at the top, you'll see that there's an option under Summarize to change that to average. We'll let that recalculate. We're going to have to delete it and then put it back. And then you'll see that we have the average of the nightly rate. And then we have the aggregated ADR of the, the nightly rate. So you can see that these come out slightly differently and the difference varies between um, each of these. And that's because in some cases we're summing up first and then doing the division. Um, and in the other case, we are simply averaging the rate for each row of the data set. So we get two slightly different values. All right, so let's go ahead and start creating our visuals. Now, if you remember in the other Tableau dashboard that we flashed up at the beginning, we had a line graph across the top of uh, the revenue over time. And then down at the bottom, we had two simple bar graphs where we were showing the revenue for the distribution channel and for the market segment. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create ourselves a bar chart. So we'll click on that. Now, obviously we have nothing populated yet, but we're gonna drag out our market segment and then we're going to drag out our revenue. Now, we can either drop it right onto the chart over here, or we can drop it into this list of values underneath the visualizations pane. Uh, either way, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, but it does tend to go in the right place when you do it under the visualizations pane. So, um, very easy for us to pull up this piece with the market segment. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here with our distribution channel. There it is. So we're going to create ourselves a new, a new stacked bar chart. When you do that, you have to click off this chart. If you click into this box, right? If we change this around and we click on a different visualization, that's going to change the chart type. If we want to create a new one, we're going to click off it and then we're going to click right up here to create a new bar chart. I'm gonna delete this one, keep working with this one. We'll put that down approximately where it's supposed to be. Get this one to sit in the center. We'll get this one to bump up against it. Look, we're already laying out our dashboard. And then we're gonna take distribution channel. We're gonna drag distribution channel to the Y axis. That's what we did over here. And then we're gonna take revenue. We're gonna drag revenue to the x-axis. And then you can see we already have the bottom half of our 
of our uh, dashboard here. Now, creating the top part is a little bit more complicated. We wanted a line chart, so we're gonna go ahead and stick a line chart up here. But, similarly to Tableau, we actually don't have the right fields because we have this arrival year, we have the arrival month, arrival day of month, but everything in our arrival date is a uh, month name. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and create a field that allows us to convert, just like we did before, convert these fields to a date. Now, to convert these fields to a date, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new column in the data set. So we're gonna click on our hotel booking table here. We're gonna create a new column. We're gonna call this arrival date. And then we're going to use a function called date value. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a text string with the year, then the month, and then the day of the month. So first thing we're gonna put in is our year. So we'll take this arrival date year. We're gonna put, and we're gonna insert a backslash between them. Then we're gonna insert our month. Now this is the month name. So we're gonna insert the month name and then we're gonna add another slash and then we're gonna add the day of month. And then what will happen here is it will take a second and then what we'll do is just hop into our data view here and then scroll all the way across to the right hand side. You can see that on the arrival date what it's done is it's converted our year, month, and day, which are all the way over here. So our arrival year, our arrival month, and our arrival date, or day, it's gone ahead and converted those for us into a date that we can actually use as a date. So very simple, all done in, uh, in one formula. Let's go ahead and drag that out onto our x-axis here. Um, this line graph will populate as we build it up. So let's grab our revenue field, we'll add the revenue onto the y-axis. And then you can see that by default, this jumps out with just 2015, 16, and 17. So just the year on our x-axis. If we wanna drill up or drill down, we can use the arrows at the bottom here. So this will allow us to drill down to the next level in the hierarchy. So we can go all the way down to the day level if we want to do that. Now I'm gonna drill back up and I'll show you why. When we have 15, 16, and 17 here, if we just drill straight down to the next level in the hierarchy, instead of having 15, 2015, 2016, and 2017 by quarter, what we end up with is individual quarters. And the same if we go to the months. Instead of the months in each year, we're looking at aggregate of the months as a whole. If we jump up though, start back on the year and what we can do is we can expand down one level in the hierarchy using this sort of tree shaped thing right here and that will expand out to show both the month and the year at the same time and we can continue to do that all the way down so the first one was the quarter this one is showing us by month and we can expand that all the way down to the day level if we want to look at it um, at the day level for this long period of time we'll draw back up we'll leave it as one month that's where we had it in our tableau workbook um, and you can see that this is looking very, very similar to what we had in our Tableau workbook. We have our line graph up top. And right now, because of the way we have this set up, Power BI actually allows us to use all of our graphs as a filter. So you can see as we pop through these uh, different segments that everything is changing. You can see if we click on a particular month up here, everything changes. Um, so it's already doing the filtering across the dashboards that we want it to do. Now, we do want to add a filter to make sure that we can address whether this is applying to both hotels or whether we want to look at a single hotel. So we're going to go into our data here. We're going to take the hotel field and we're going to drag it out to this filters on all pages shelf. And if we go ahead and just close up our dashboard here. You can see we can select either the city hotel 
or the resort hotel and all of our data changes to reflect that. There's one last piece. We did have a title on our Tableau dashboard. So let's go ahead and add one of those right now. To add a header to our dashboard, we're going to click on the home tab right here. And under the home tab, we have this text box option. I'm gonna take this text box, click on the text box and you see that pops one out right here. We're going to resize this so it fits nicely up in the corner. I'm gonna put it up top here just like we did. We'll make that nice and big. Whoop. Resize it so that it fits and then we're gonna go ahead and just drag our line graph right here, we're gonna drag that down so that it sits underneath it right there. We'll have to adjust just a hair at the bottom here as well. So we'll drag these down a little. There we go. And there you have it, an interactive Power BI dashboard showing revenue over time and then the revenue by segment in our bottom two detail graphs here. Um, if you did like this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel and I hope we see you again soon. Thanks very much, goodbye.